So I'm sure a lot of you have seen those backroom shorts channels that are like, what is the backrooms like at Halloween? Or like, the Christmas in the back rooms, or something like that. And I show you some like really fake, goofy lore that makes no sense. But in today's video, your boy's here to show you what Halloween is really like in the back rooms, exactly what Halloween day is like, and why you should never explore this specific level on the day of Halloween. Because today I'm gonna be explaining the haunted pools. This is the third year in a row that I'm gonna be making a custom Halloween backrooms level for a video, so I know you're gonna love this one. The other two parts will be in the description below from the last two years. This one is the best one, I'm not gonna lie, it's my favorite. But anyways, thank you for watching. Let's get into the video and let's see why you should never be in the backrooms on Halloween night. So the Haunted Pools is an enigmatic level found deep inside of the back rooms. It's unknown if it's a sub-level of the actual pool rooms or if it just has water similar to the pool rooms, we don't know. But what we do know is that the level has been given a class four survival difficulty by me for having a dangerous environment, the presence of hostile entities, and mind-altering substances throughout the level and specifically in the water. The level is like one big trip, if you know what I'm saying. Everything seems like you're hallucinating while you're here. It's hard to tell what's fake and what's real. But there are several different zones that encapsulate the layout of this level, and those are the pools, the slides, and the break rooms. And as I always do, I'm gonna get into them right now. The level starts you inside of the murky, cool waters of the pools. The depth of these pools can change depending on where you go on the level, but typically they're around waist deep for everyone, unless you're like really short or something. The halls are similar in this level to the pool rooms, except they're not as wide and expanding. They're more claustrophobic and they're way darker. When you look around you, you'll really notice that everything is dark. The walls, the ceiling, the atmosphere, it's all this heavy, dark energy. The light on this level is non-existent, and all of the light you're gonna see is gonna come from your own flashlight or your own light source that you bring, so don't forget to bring one. The walls seem to be made out of some kind of large black and white tile, similar to the pool rooms, but again, not the exact same. These are bigger and fatter. When you wake up in the water on this level, you'll first notice these really colorful carnival amusement park looking figures and tubes and plastic hallways and slides surrounding these water filled hallways. Many of these plastic structures have what looks to be clown faces etched onto them and they give off extremely unsettling energy, obviously. And the entire time you're walking through this water, you really think that something or someone is watching you. Some people have even reported seeing the eyes on these clown faces tracking their movement and you know moving their eyeballs where you move. More on that later though. The plastic areas that you'll likely see are hallways, slides, and rooms. And it seems like all of them are randomly generated, kinda. Their layouts don't make any sense, it's a jumbled mess, and this leads to the environment being almost impossible to map out. It's not that the geometry here is non-Euclidean or there's weird properties there, it's just that it's so claustrophobic and confusing of a layout naturally that it's hard to map and you can't really tell where you're at. Going down one of the slides that you see in the level will result in you being launched even deeper into the complex of the halls and the rooms. It's almost like a giant game of shoots and ladders, if you know what that is. So when you get here, your goal should be to go down as few slides and walk through as few tunnels as possible and just try to find the exit. The ambience and the atmosphere of the level is stale. It smells of old mildew and rot, almost like rotting old sugary candy. The smell gets worse inside of the slides here and inside of the tunnels, so it's thought that maybe the materials of these things is what's smelling, or an entity somewhere smells bad, or the water just stinks. Either way, it's, it's not pleasant. The water here is actually slightly thicker than normal water or almond water, and it kind of feels like a cloud substance, like a cotton candy thing when you move your hand through it. It smells sterile, but also old and mildewy. So when you breathe in that smell, you get really lightheaded. Think of how like when you open a glue paste bottle and you sniff it or like rubbing alcohol, that's what the water here smells like. It's really pungent. The slides in this level are so confusing to crawl through and they can literally go off in any direction. They can go up, they can go down, side to side, diagonal or whatever, they can go anywhere. And they all lead to different places each time. 
The slides are also dangerous for another reason, and it's that smilers and other strange entities lurk in the deeper parts. And the only reason you should ever enter a slide is if you're walking towards a dead end, or if you're being chased by something and you want to avoid it. Other than that, you probably shouldn't get in them. Now, the last part of the level is what's been nicknamed the break rooms. And this is a large, colorful set of rooms with very strange architecture. You know, you got these weird pillars, weird shapes in the floor, weird arcade machines. And it feels like a place that you shouldn't see. It feels like something that is like exclusive, not to you though. You're not supposed to be there. The floor here is dry. There's no water, which is nice, I guess. But this is also a place that a level exclusive entity has been seen multiple times. The entity in question takes the appearance of a large statue-like clown that moves around like a normal human. It's almost got the vibe of an animatronic and how creepy and uncanny it is, but it seemingly stands off in the distance and just stalks wanderers as they navigate through the level. It's unknown if it actually attacks and consumes or does anything to these wanderers because it mainly just stares awkwardly from far away. But just to be safe, you shouldn't approach it or go towards it. And this entity doesn't have a name yet, but it has been seen many times in the hallways, the pools, the tunnels, and in the break rooms, of course. The other entities here are smilers, skin stealers, maybe an insanity or two deep in the tunnels. And some think that the slides themselves are entities because of how they can seemingly move around and they can change their own layout. This isn't confirmed, but who knows. Now those giant clown faces from earlier are also thought to be sentient in their own way or if the clown entity can somehow look through these clown faces as like cameras or something. So like, let's say the clown entity is far away, but it wants to see where you're at, so it can somehow look into these clown faces at what direction you're going. We don't know, it's terrifying to think about. Something's definitely watching you. That's what you need to take away from this. All the plastic areas and tunnels in this level are so uncanny and unnatural feeling that you literally feel so wrong walking through it. Like I said earlier, it feels like you're tripping on something. Everything seems fake, but when you touch that water and you're getting all claustrophobic, you know it's real. And of course, the clown faces on things don't help, and the strange layout of the slides don't either. Now, the water itself, like I said, is very strange, and it actually acts as a slight hallucinogen to anyone here. It makes all the colors and all the shapes look like they're twirling and moving, and it all looks very psychedelic to wanderers who consume or stay in it too long. The entire level ends up looking like an old animation if you stay in the water for too long, in fact. And if you quote unquote, you know, take too much of this water or sniff it too much, you'll literally just fall over into the water and you won't wake back up. An entity might get you or the clown might get you, we don't know. Just be advised to not stay in this water and never drink it unless you wanna have like the craziest trip story of your life. To enter this level, any wanderer can on Halloween day. In fact, the only way to enter this level is on Halloween. And you can just be walking around any other level and you can be sent here from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Halloween day. And it happens randomly. So prepare yourself, you, you probably should be ready. To exit, you have to find a break room and then no clip through one of the pillars inside of it to get out, which means you're gonna have to brave some of the labyrinth of these strange plastic halls and the decorations and the entities and the clown faces to get out of here. But you probably got this, probably. Maybe not. This level just strikes fear into many wanderers in the back rooms because of how just unnatural it looks. It seems like some sort of twisted Halloween carnival ride that you're forced to stay in forever. The strange noises that echo from deep in the hallways, the weird uncanny faces staring at you, the water that makes you hallucinate, and the tight hallways you have to crawl through. It's not a fun place to be, but it was fun to make. Hope you enjoyed. Alright, that was my yearly custom Halloween backrooms level for the third year in a row. Can you believe that? Three years of Halloween levels from Brugly. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope your Halloween day is going amazing. I love Halloween. Hopefully you got all the candy you want. Hopefully you've dressed up as you want to. I love this day. Hope you're having a great day, and I hope you enjoy this video. Love you all, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Love y'all. Peace, and happy Halloween.